of course, I'm, I imagine you you find the need to eat less after fasting, but maybe give people an idea of what you think the amount of calories an average human body needs to be consuming. You know, honestly, I don't really know. Um, it's a great question. Um, there are lots of ideas out there. You know, there, as, as, of course we know, you know, everyone probably watching this knows, there are those people out there advocating consuming a high-calorie fruit-based diet. Um, and, and yet there's zero science to support the idea that more calories is ever more beneficial for us. There's no, no science to support this whatsoever. There's a mountain of science that says that the less we eat, as long as we're meeting our needs, the less we eat, the better off we are. So uh, one of the things my haters do is they accuse me of promoting caloric restriction, which couldn't be farther from the truth. Because I am not ever advocating that someone restrict themselves from anything. You know, and so to, to answer your question, your, your direct question was how much should the, you know, the average person need? I don't really know. But here's what, I th- here's what I think is true. Rather than trying to figure out what we need, which is an intellectual process, let's just do this. Let's just eat when we're hungry and stop when we're satisfied. Now, let's say that you've led a busy morning and you have, I mean, I, I don't, do you eat breakfast in the morning? Yeah, typically. Okay. Okay. So let's say you eat, you eat your breakfast, whatever it is, and then you have a, a very busy morning after that and you're hungry again and, and you're thinking, I didn't eat enough, right? You're going to be hungry because if you didn't get enough calories before, perhaps. So what are you going to do? Well, you're going to listen to your body and eat more now. Yeah. You're going to eat what your body needs now, right? Um, I've had many clients, this happened again recently, where someone said, Lawrence, you said, I, I, think, I think I need more calories. I said, what's going on? Are you, are you losing weight? Are you low in energy? Are you not thinking clearly? Are you having some problems? And she said, no, I feel and function better than ever. <laughs> but I calculated how much I'm eating, and I'm only eating 900 calories a day. I should be eating more, right? <laughs> and I said, no, not if it's not broken. Don't fix it, yeah. okay? You know, I don't, I don't really care who thinks we should do what or how many people, you know, it's, again, we get our bodies clean and efficient and we simply don't need as much. And so, you know, it's funny because I never paid any attention to this. I don't, I don't calculate. I don't put things into programs online to make sure I'm getting enough. I just listen to my body. But over the last few years, people started asking me, well, how many calories do you eat? And I said, I don't know. So I go and figure it out. Okay, well, roughly, you know, how many ounces or pounds or cups of watermelon papaya am I eating? What does that come to? And it looks like it's typically between 12 and 1,500 calories a day. Some days it's more. Some days it's probably less. Um, I maintain strength. I, I maintain, you know, a high energy level, and I work long hours every day. And then when I have some free time, I'm surfing or body surfing or, you know, rock climbing or whatever I'm doing. I mean, it's, energy is not a problem. My body works perfectly, and it works better today at, at nearly 54 than it did at 18. And so I am not saying everyone listening should be eating what I eat. You don't live in my body, yeah. okay? You know, what I'm saying is you got to listen to your body. Mm-hmm. So it may be that there are people who need to eat three or four or 5,000 calories a day. I don't know. If they do, that's what they need to do. But the way to, to understand what it is is to, A, get your body clean enough that you can actually tr- listen to and tr- trust the messages you're getting because the toxic body gives you message, messages to consume toxins, whether it's nicotine, cocaine, uh, you know, heroin, or bread. If the body is toxic and addicted to one of those substances, it's going to tell you to consume that stuff. And it's not going to be based on what you need or how many calories it should be or anything else. It's simply going to be, give me this potent drug. So... Once your system is clean, you can trust its messages, and then you simply eat when you're hungry. And when you feel satisfied, which does not mean stuffed, it does not mean you have to under your belt and open up your pants, right? Because you're so bloated that you can, you know, you feel okay. You don't have to do that. Your stomach stays flat. You feel perfectly fine. Uh, you have all the energy you need. And when when you get to the point where your body says, "Okay, that's enough. I don't need any more," that's when you stop. Most people don't do that, but 
the longest lived peoples on the planet have almost always done that. Mm -hmm. They've dramatically eaten less than to full, and they usually live much longer as a result. So again, listen to your body and simply eat when you need to and stop when you don't need it anymore. Easy enough. Um, I don't know. Maybe not. That's as easy as it sounds. That's debatable if it's easy. (laughs) Right. Yeah. Um, Is there anything we did not address that you would like to? There probably is. Um, My guess is we're going to need another 50 or 60 hours of, of time to do that. But for today, I'm good. Cool. Um, where can we find you on the internet? Um, you can find me at uh, www.tanglewoodwellnesscenter.com. Perhaps you can show a link. Yeah, I will, definitely. Okay, great. And of course, uh, my YouTube channel, YouTube slash Lauren Lockman. And those, those are probably the two best places. I'm, I'm on Facebook. You're welcome to look for me on Facebook. I'm on a few groups, 250 or so. I'm not, all, I'm not active on all of them by far, but um, mostly I post on some of these places. But uh, oh, either via email, Facebook, or, or certainly on YouTube, I now have put up some 320 or so videos on YouTube. They're not all active yet. Now, we do typically uh, three a week, every week now. Great. Okay. All righty. Well, thank you very much for, for doing this interview with us. My pleasure, Rainy. It's been uh, great talking with you. I look forward to meeting you in person someday. Yeah, me too. And I hope to do maybe some more in the future. Sounds good. I'd be glad to anytime. Great. Thanks a lot, man. Take care. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Ciao. You too.